Hello Nubbits! This is a new bit talking. Um, today I'm going to show the creation of my uh, character in the new Guild Wars 2 game. Um, I didn't have any specific preferences for servers, except I wanted to be in Europe, since I am from Denmark in Europe. <laughs> um, and I didn't want it to be totally populated or too full or whatever. Um, so I was just looking around at the different server names and well, try to find a name I liked, <laughs> um, which ended out being the Aurora Glade one. Right, and then there's the uh, selection of race. Uh, five in uh, Kill Wars 2, that's the Char, the Human, the Non, the Asura, and the Severi, um, which ended out picking in this case. Um, I was playing as one in the beat as well, and well then, I just think I like them the most for some reason. Um, then there's which uh, gender wanted to play as, it became female in this case, I don't really know why. Then we have the different professions, which is like classes, um, they're all unique in their own way, um, and how they work and all that of course, and um, some of them reminds, uh, are quite the same as in other MMOs, um, I just picked the one I liked the most during the beats. It was this, which was the mesmer. In uh, this case, I might try others in the future as well. Well, most likely. Um, then there's all kinds of character customization. Um, hi, as you see here, the um, size of the body. Took a while for me to figure out which one I preferred the most. There we go. And then the skin color. I thought green uh, would fit a plant person or whatever this is the most. Um, I thought it looked quite um, realistic, more or less, I guess you could say. So it's about that. There's different skin patterns which um, makes the skin a little more unique um, different to however you decide it should look like as you can see there are quite different ones here but this one can change the color on it and the glow color as well I just don't want it to be too um, outstanding I guess you could say it would look too weird I would think then that's the hair, which is quite a big part of the character. I would say at least myself. Um, that's quite a lot to work around with. And there's all sorts of styles and colors as well. There are a lot of colors to play around with. Um, so it's just finding your preference really and sticking to that. <laughs> it took me quite a while and I was still quite unsure if I should stick to that one or not. Um, why well, out choosing that is. Um, so I decided in the end to go back and look at it a little later on. Right, then I came to the face options. Um, they're quite unique as well, the different ones. Uh, I didn't want it to be too scary or <laughs> whatever. I just like it to be somewhat <laughs> nice to look at, um, which I thought this one was. And there's the ears. Um, there are quite a few different ones as well. Uh, I like these quite a lot. They remind me a little of elf ears or something. So I decided to stick to those. I th thought those fit the uh, the face the most. This is just all sorts of different face details you can, you can play around with. That comes to the eyebrows, the eyes, the colors, and of course as well. Nose, mouth, ears, cheeks. Pretty much everything like in <laughs> like in the Sims, I guess you could say, on other uh, games where you can customize your character at a lot of points and everything. Um, I thought it would take too long to show in one go, so I'll, I just um, turned up the speed of this part so you could see how it went quickly. And that was pretty much it for the face details. Um, then it's on to the clothing dice, um, where you can customize the different colors. Um, of the cloth you're wearing. 
that means you can customize how your um, equipment or armor will look like whenever you wear it. In theory, you can make it all pink, which would look quite um, quite weird. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's it's pretty cool how much you can customize. I really like the character customization in general in Tools 2. It gives you a lot of options to play around with, and it it can really make your uh, your character very personal, I guess you could say. Else, I'm pretty much done with the different customization, um, I guess you could say. And then it's on to the different um, background parts of your character, where you decide different traits to it, and how it would act in different situations and such, more or less, um, which you can decide to follow in the game itself. The different choices you make give you some different um, personal quest lines to follow as well, um, which we'll see um, whenever I start playing here soon. <laughs> um, I think it's a pretty cool thing that whatever you decide to do with your character um, gives you a different storyline to follow on as well. That's very nice. And here at last we have to pick a name for the character. First of all, I'd like to point out that the hair is red now instead of green. Um, I agreed with myself that that was too much green on that character. Um, which made me, well, pick another one. I was playing a little wrong with the purple or red, and it turned out to be red here in the end. Um, then we come to the name, and then to call her Pewtus. Um, I did originally want to call it Pewtus, um, which is Latin for pure. I thought it would fit quite nice for a, uh, a character in harmony with the nature and all such. Um, unfortunately it was taken and I decided to play that around with it and it's... well, Pewtus was the close I would get. So let's get on. Now here at the end uh, there will be a short cinematic slash introduction on your character where you hear about the different choices and such. I'll just let play and after that I'll finish the video. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I am Silvari. 25 years ago, my people first appeared in Tyria. The pale tree flowered, and the firstborn awakened. The dream contains my race's memories. We gain awareness here, and then awaken into the world. The dream fills me with knowledge, and is my connection to others. It is my inspiration, my guiding light. While here, I have discovered my purpose, to face evil and destroy it. Even now, I sense my destiny calling me to awaken. My time is soon. Nature and goodness are under siege. All life hangs in the balance. If Tyria is to survive, it will need us. If we fail, the dream will be consumed by nightmare. And Tyria will wither and die. I dream of voyages. The voices of my people whisper to me of far-off places and mysterious shores. A white stag races before me, brave and wild. It offers me the gift of freedom. The dream hints at my future. There are distant lands and dangerous challenges, but also I see my home. A grove with a white tree and friends who will stand by me when I need them. My honor dictates that I help those who are lost and alone. I am their protector. I hear my name in the wind, and I feel the call of my future. And yet, I sense darkness approaching. Something intrudes upon the dream. It blocks the path to my awakening. Before I can enter the world, I must first face this evil and vanquish it. I'm summoned by the dream. This is my story.